Hey everyone, welcome back to the Thundertron Podcast. So today we're actually going to be discussing a very interesting update, a part of the HasLab Desaurus. So it's actually been quite a while since our last update. I'm pretty sure it was maybe earlier this year or like December of 2022. It was a whole video kind of showing the colored uh, prototype of Desaurus, which I thought was actually pretty cool. But it's been quite a while, so I'm actually really glad we got this one today. It's kind of a small one, so this segment won't be that long. But please do let me know your thoughts of this artwork in the comment section down below. So we actually have our first image or draft of art a part of the packaging for Death Source. So as I said before, this is a draft, so don't th take this as a final product or a final art, so not 100% sure we'll actually see this exact same thing with or when we get this figure. It could change drastically or very little. Um, but I'm just going to describe it and, of course, give the information. If you want to see this whole article for yourself, because there is actually an entire article, someone discussing this art with some information, if you literally look up on any Transformers news site that you usually look at, it should be up there very soon. It could be up now or, of course, later today. So if you want to see the entire article, I'm not going to read the entire thing because it's quite long and not everything is 100% useful or needed to be said. I'm really just going to be giving you my basic information and, of course, what I think about the art. But the art itself actually looks super, super cool. Of course, we have Death Source sitting on is uh, very menacing and scary throne. I really do like that kind of red they used. There's actually a Legacy logo, so if you're wondering what part of line this is, it's actually a, technically a part of the Legacy Evolution or the Legacy line, just in case you're wondering. We actually do have Eagle Chest uh, sitting on his uh, forum, kind of perched there, looking very cool. Um, I do like how we can actually see his huge wings sticking out the side. I really do like that. And, of course, we have Tiger Chest kind of uh, walking around his feet, which I do quite like as well. And that's pretty much it for the art. Of course, this is a draft, so it could change quite a bit, and we only have one image. And, you know, um, usually with these packaging, as we actually saw with Victory Saber, there is a lot of art. You know, he had an entire sleeve with tons of art. You could actually flip it inside out to reveal more art. And I actually do wonder, maybe they'll actually have with Death Source here kind of the same style of packaging like like the last figure. I do hope maybe we get like a sleeve like the last one and I do hope they kind of do the thing where you can actually flip it inside out and reveal more art. I think that would be pretty cool. Of course the size of the packaging will definitely be very different because you know Victory Saber was pretty much two figures packaged separately and of course this one's just one figure with some mini cons. So definitely I think the size of the box will probably be smaller and they might do a different format. I actually kind of like the case style packaging they actually did with the last figure Victory Saber. I kind of hope maybe they carry that over with this one but again probably the size of the packaging will be quite a bit smaller just in case if you want to display the packaging with the figure that was actually probably one of my uh, biggest uh, problems or kind of complaints with victory saber i really wanted to display the packaging with victory saber but the box was so massive i wasn't able to so maybe you'll be able to do that with this figure here um and that was pretty much it really just one image um so again as i said this segment will be pretty short, but I actually think this looks absolutely awesome. I do want to say one thing else. So actually at the uh, very end of the article, it does say we'll actually have more um, pro uh, production updates very soon. That's what it said. Of course, don't quote me on that, but um, I'm just, of course, kind of paraphrasing of what it said from the, the article here. It said, we'll be back soon with even more exciting behind the scenes production updates. That's a quote there. That's exactly what it says. I'm actually looking at it right now. And again, if you want to see it for yourself, just look up on the news sites and you'll see it for yourself. And that is um, pretty much it for this, you know, HasLab update. Again, as I said before, kind of short. I wouldn't say the most, you know, mind-blowing update of them all. Um, some people really don't care about the packaging. This really excites me because I've always really liked the art. I think they did a really good job with um, Victory Saber's packaging art and the box itself. I actually kept it. I, just, I know some people do not care about the packaging at all. Me personally, I think it's pretty cool. I do hope maybe... Um, we also get a poster with Desaurus because we actually did get one with Victory Saber. I think that'd be pretty cool if we could, um, you know, kind of put them side by side on the wall. If it comes with one, I will definitely do that when I, in my collection. I think that'll look really nice. But again, let me know think of this um, uh, packaging art or this uh, first draft art in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed this segment of the Thunertron podcast, and I'll see you next time.